Welcome everyone, welcome to the deal room. Uh, it's the team here from Thought Source, and we're doing something that we've actually wanted to do for quite a long time, and that's create a video series, a podcast series, depending on how you're listening to it or watching it, all about something that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, M&A technical due diligence, or tech DD, or tech due diligence, whatever you wanna call it, it's what happens when one company wants to buy a technology or a product um, that's, that's focused more on technology. And we're here to talk about it. We're here to talk about behind, you know, look beyond the curtain as to what, what goes on because it's a bit of a secret, right, Luke? Well, it's a, it's, it's a bit of a secret club. There's some code words. Uh, every deal will be known as a code word. Um, obviously, it needs to be maintained uh, with a certain amount of secrecy around it. We're talking about large amounts of money being spent. Um, whether you're over the wall or not, it's one of the key uh, phrases that's often used. Tell us about what being over the wall is like, Andrew. Yeah, look, that's one of those things where we're talking about you know, huge amounts of money in a time-sensitive, market-sensitive way. It's the sort of thing that you need to um, make sure that only the right people need to know, and that's what over the wall means. If somebody is aware of what's going on, taking part in the discussions, they're over the wall. Um, if somebody is not aware of it, then they're not over the wall. And that's a good um, segue into, look, m and is something that can really, really change the course of a company's history when it's done. Well, or when it's done badly, it's the sort of thing that has really dramatic implications to a company's future. And when what when we're talking about M and A and due diligence, typically you may think that's um, related to finance and legal, and all of those things are really important because lots of money is changing hands. So you want to make sure it's all done in a legitimate legal way. But we're focused on the technology part of it. We technology is running our world, and this is very much what the core of these companies actually do. Legal and finance are about the compliance, making sure everything is done, but the technology, it's what the company is actually doing and what it actually does, and typically why you would actually want to buy a company. So that's where we have a lot of our focus. Now we've had quite a lot of experience with these types of projects, right? We've probably done, what, about four, 40 or so? More than 40. Yeah, more than 40 around, around the world. Don't let our, our accents fool you. Uh, we have, uh, mainly our clients are outside of Australia and uh, working on projects of all different sizes from, you know, the uh, from a couple of million dollars, frankly, all the way up to the billions uh, is, is what we've done. And, and really it's not talked a lot about what happens behind the scenes and we wanted to create these uh, these videos and these podcasts to not only show you what happens behind the scenes but also educate you uh, because you might be going through this yourself you might be looking at buying a technology looking at buying another company or trying to sell your company you might be a startup that's out there you might be a large company that's out there looking to sell a uh, technology portion of your company and you're looking for some advice as to what actually happens um, so we're going to take you through that through the video series we've got lots to talk about different uh, stories to tell you we're not going to be too specific about the stories right because we we're, our lips are sealed uh, it's, yeah so we're, there, there is a bit of confidence we've got to be uh, mindful of there but really telling you about the process and what we go through uh, when it comes to doing technology due diligence product due diligence and then uh, integration once uh, the company's actually been been acquired well actually it's for buyers that and many of the clients that we've worked with over time have been acquiring my favorite diligence is the tuck-in now every, every M&A uh, deal has a deal lens. Um, there's some jargon, I'll be throwing a bit of jargon into our series. And the tuck-in is where one established technology company that has a decent customer base and a product portfolio is buying another tech piece that will complement its product portfolio, make it stronger, make it more successful in the market, and hopefully enable some cross-sell into an existing customer base. Andrew, what's your favorite? I like the, the going, bringing in a going concern ones, them and the aqua hire. So the bringing in a going concern, that's the more common one where you're actually like this company, it's a fully fledged running independent business and bringing them in to really help expand what a company can do. Um, the other one is, is an aqua hire where you're actually, you're really, you want a particular person. So who has, may have a very small company, but you want these people. So that's why you're actually bringing those on board. And that's a much more personal oriented way of acquiring a company. We're going to explore the dangers of the logo slide. 
Don't be taken in I by know, just I mean, the PowerPoint. I mean, every company has it right. It's the, the slide of all these impressive logos of, 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 of their customers. Well, the people that have perhaps at some point visited their website or maybe they've driven past on the way to work. Uh, <laughs> there are some claims. There are <laughs> and then we get to the evidence. But then we'll introduce our own bit of jargon at the end of this series. We talk about the go to green. So we'll find some positives, we'll find some negatives on the diligence journey, but then we'll put together, and our bit of jargon is the go to green. You wanna calculate what the total cost of acquisition is, and you wanna have a good appraisal of that as, as you're parting with the big lump of cash that's associated with an M&A. And that's a, look, that's a big, it's a big exciting activity, but you've gotta have it grounded so that you don't get caught up in what we like to call deal fever. Um, you wanna make sure that you actually check everything, that, that it's all good, but there's a really creative element as well in terms of when you're looking at what the future may be. So all of these things need to be, be dealt with and we're gonna cover a whole lot of these in our series. A deal fever is a great, a great phrase. Uh, deal glow is another one. People get, you know, get, this, get this feel about the fact that they've come a certain way to buying a company and they just wanna get it done. They're, they're excited, they're, you know, they know the people, they've seen the PowerPoint. Now we're the guys that's that come in. Is, no, 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 no. There's, there's more than that. And that's what we're talking to you guys about. And the fact that there's actually evidence that we need to get behind the scenes uh, to make sure that we go beyond that deal, that deal glow, that deal fever. We want to see deals for what they actually are. Highly informed business building by taking a very calculated risk. All right, guys, I'm excited about this series. I think we're off to a good start. Uh, our, our next episode is all about, help me out here, what is it all about? The deal that got away. The deal that got away. We'll see you very soon.